hey guys welcome back to my channel you know it's your girl Keisha J Lewis and today we're gonna to be making us a high protein smoothie after our workout right now I'm out here in the hot Sun but I'm getting the workout in and we're about to make us a high protein smoothie so let's go okay so this is all the ingredients that I'm gonna use here today I have string beans I know you're wondering why I have string beans for a smoothie but string beans are actually good for your nervous system so I tend to put string beans in my smoothies at times I also have some Greek yogurt here I might use like two scoops of this in the yogurt you know this is good for your gut health probiotics I also have sunflower seeds here. As it says, sunflower, it makes you shine, it makes you glow. So we definitely need some of that in our diet. We have the dates here that I'm gonna use to sweeten my smoothie because I don't use sugar. So I'm gonna put the dates to give it a little sweetener. I also have cinnamon powder here. This is good for your glycemic levels. So it's actually good to level out, you know, if you have a lot of sugar in your body, it actually is good, you know, for like diabetes, if you have cholesterol problems. Cinnamon powder is good overall for that. Now I have ground flaxseed here. As it says, it's ground flaxseed. Anything from the ground coming up is always good. And I also have my big avocado here. Yes, this is a big ass avocado here that I'm gonna put like a slice of avocado. This is good fats, right? I've always talked about avocado, which is pear. So we're gonna put some of this in our smoothie. I also have some protein powder here. I'm gonna put the link for this. I just packed it out travel size in a bag. Get into it. Okay, so we have the string bean and the avocado here that I washed and clean. All right, so we're gonna put that in the cup. We also have the sunflower seeds here. I'm just gonna judge it and, you know, pour a little in. You could just freestyle to how you like it, right? I normally just pour like, half of a handful or something into the smoothie cup. With the avocado, it actually thickens the smoothie so you don't necessarily need like a lot of protein powders or so in your smoothies. And we have the flaxseed here. I'm just gonna, you know, judge how much I put. I don't normally do measurements, so I normally just freestyle. So I just put like a tablespoon of flaxseed. Now we also have the cinnamon powder here. All right, so I'm gonna just put a little into my cup. You can might put like a teaspoon of the cinnamon powder. So the protein powder, I'm gonna put a scoop full of protein powder into this. Gonna put a scoop full of the protein powder into the smoothie. Right. The Greek yogurt, I'm going to use like two tablespoons. Add the dates for sweetness. Three dates into my smoothie. All right, three dates. So now everything is in the blender. Right, the string bean, the avocado, the protein powder, the dates, the yogurt, the cinnamon powder, the flax seed, it's all in the blender. So now we're gonna add us a glass of water. And just shake it up and we're gonna add it to the blender. So our high protein after workout smooth is all done and ready. Yes, you could add ice to your smoothie. I generally do add ice, but sometimes I put it in the fridge to chill, right? So I'm just gonna pour it out and you can see the consistency here and the smoothie really thick and rich, right? And you get a full overall balanced smoothie here because this is actually helping you with building muscles. It's also helping you with your gut health. It's also helping you with your nervous system, which is string beans are there for. It also helps with, you know, your skin, your glow, antioxidants from the um, flax seeds, the cinnamon powder. It's helping with diabetes if you have high, you know, blood sugar levels, cholesterol problems. It's a good smoothie overall.
So remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Bon appétit.